Good morning, and thank you for joining us for Coffee and Collaboration. Your host, Kimberly Winborn, will show you the power of proactive networking. Grab your coffee and let's get started. Good morning and welcome to the Coffee and Collaborations radio show with my special guest, Jerika Bunch of Mom. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning, <laughs> Jerika of Mom Redefined. And um, I'm excited to have Jerika. I just met her recently. I mean, literally less than a month ago, probably. Um, and or right there. And we've run into each other maybe twice since then. Yep. Um, but let me tell you, the first time that I met her, it was at her event that she had, and it was an amazing event. I'm going to have her tell you guys all about it. Um, but one of the things that stood out more than anything else was the spirit of the people in the room and how much they adored and loved her. And that says a lot about her. And then her mom came up to me, just, it was just random. <laughs> I was just walking and she said, hi, how are you? Because I, I always smile. You know, remember, I always tell you guys how important it is, how important your hello is. So I always smile. So people usually do come up and talk to me. And she said, how do you know my daughter? And I said, who is your daughter? And she said, <laughs> she said, Jerika, the one who's hosting this event. I said, I actually haven't met her, but she is beautiful. And I do see the resemblance. And her mother just went on and talked about oh, how much she loves you. <laughs> yes, she talked about oh. how much she loves you and is proud of you. And that made me want to get to know Jerika even more. Oh. And so welcome to the show once again. Thank you for having me. I'm so honored from the, the kind of things that you had to say as well as my mom. So thank you all. You're welcome. And I can't wait for everybody to hear about everything that you're doing. So guys, we're going to jump right in. First of all, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers out there. I know you all are, some of you are single mothers and you're toiling and you're sometimes from day to day, don't know how you're going to make it. So kudos to you for stepping up and doing the thing that you need to do. I'm going to highlight my mother, especially she was a single mother of three. And so happy Mother's Day, mommy. And then those of you who are wives and you're tackling having a husband and children and a career and so many things, women, we are amazing. So yes. once again, yes, hats <laughs> off yes. to all the moms. Yes, Jerika, did you want to say anything to the moms as well? Definitely. Happy Mother's Day. Look, this is our day. I know we have our birthday, but this this day, Mother's Day, this is our day where we can actually kind of celebrate all of the work that we really put in. So yeah. enjoy it to the fullest. Take a break and kind of get showered, receive everything that everyone is giving you and um, enjoy your day. <laughs> yes. So this is going to be a special edition that is going to air on the podcast, the newly launched podcast or relaunched because I launched it before um, on Podbean. And so we're going to air this on Sunday, actually Mother's Day, and then replay on the uh, 88 One The Truth on Monday at 7 a.m. So you guys don't go anywhere. Grab your coffee and make sure it's hot. We're going to be right back right here on Coffee and Collaborations. How's your credit? Some companies will help you check your credit for free, but what are they going to do to help you repair your credit? At Fix Credit For You, we'll give you a free credit consultation to cover your credit report and scores. Then develop a customized game plan to help you improve your credit score. You no longer need to be discouraged, but be encouraged. As we work directly with your creditors and the big three credit bureaus, we'll check, challenge, and help you dispute inaccurate information on your credit report to ensure it's fair and accurate. You can track your success 24-7 online or on your smartphone. Call FixCreditForYou.com now at 1-800-908-6149 to get your free credit repair consultation. Take charge of your financial future with FixCreditForYou.com. All right. Welcome back to the show, Coffee and Collaborations. Guys, make sure to go check us out at www.coffeeandcollaborations.com. 
coffeeandcollab.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Coffee and Collaborations. Make sure to engage in the post. We love communicating and we love connecting. <laughs> so without further ado, like I said, I want to dive right in. So you can learn about this mom redefined founder, Jerika Bunch. So Jerika, tell us about who you are first. I know you're a mom and a wife. So tell us about who you are first. So I, of course, I'm the founder of My Redefined. Um, I have a recruiting background, so human resources. I've been in HR for so long, and I realized that one of the things I enjoyed about recruiting was just helping other people. And after I, after giving birth to my son and kind of adjusting to being a wife and a mom, I realized that I was still missing a place. And so that's where My Redefined came from. And um, so, yeah, like that's, Mm -hmm. Now I've been putting everything into being a mom enthusiast and just making sure that moms are, moms are good. They're getting fulfilled all the way around. So. And when did you yeah. launch that? When did you launch the Mom Redefined? How long ago? I launched it January of 2017. Okay. So a little over two years ago. And what was the motivation? Like you said, you wanted to be sure that their women were kind of holistically taking care of themselves, getting the things they need they need. And so what was that first launch event for you? And then from there? So my very first, um, my launch party was actually a launch the vision party and it was a vision board party because okay. after becoming a mom, I realized that I was so indulged in, in being a mother. Um, I think part of the reason was because it took so long. Like we, I went through um, fertility treatments and, you know, a couple of disappointments. And so of course, after you have that first successful delivery is like oh this is my baby yeah <laughs> and I forgot about the fact that I was still Rika I wasn't just um Rika the wife or Rika the mom I was still Rika and when I was looking for different I guess like safe places um to actually go and express any type of frustration um because a lot of my friends some of my friends weren't mothers and mm -hmm. some of them weren't wives and so they may not have understood and I decided that I'll wanted to create what I wish existed. And so that's where Mom Redefined um, came from. And my desire was to just build a tribe of moms who realize that we're not perfect, but we can still chase our dreams as hard as we chase our kids. Yes. And so that's essentially all Mom Redefined is about. I host moments or moments for moms um, quite often. And some of them are just a break. Like we, ha I have a mom lounge. You'll hear about that a little bit more as well but i have a mom lounge um where we sometimes we have a live band but we have different mompreneurs they come out they be their vendors and so we're able to shop with them mm -hmm. we have music playing um, we have some small bikes and we network and we just enjoy being a woman <laughs> yeah <laughs> a moment, you know there are no yeah. kids invited no husbands no booze it's literally just a room of amazing moms who want to go to the next level. Now with a with the mom lounge, how often are you doing that or have you been doing that? So usually every other month. Um, okay. But now I will actually be having a grand opening for an official mom lounge where it's almost like a think tank on steroids. Um, so it's basically <laughs> a combination of all of my moments and yeah, we have vendors, so I have um, mompreneurs that actually rent out spaces in the mom lounge where they nice. can showcase their business. Um, they may not have had, an they may not be in a place where they can afford or even desire to spend two, three thousand dollars on a storefront, mm -hmm. but they have a couple of hundred that they can actually spare to showcase and market their products. Um, in addition to shopping with the mompreneurs, there's going to be a lounge area with. Um, literally set up like a living room <laughs> in the back where oh wow um, if you're having a long day you can come and just sit on the couch and mm -hmm. relax in addition we have workstations where it's a think tank and mm -hmm. if you are stuck at a, in a certain spot of your business if you just need a brainstorm we can you can get with other moms and we can help you because i may not know all the answers but I may say, well, Kimberly knows this, or mm -hmm. you know, whatever the case may be, and if a bunch of us are together, yeah, it's going to be a lot of magic. So, oh, wow. So, <laughs> um, what is that going to be open daily? 
it's going to be open daily. It's at Triangle Town Center. The grand mm-hmm. opening is on June 8th. And June 8th. it's going to be open with them all. So mm-hmm. um, Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. And then on Sunday, it will be open from 12 to 6. Um, oh, wow. So, so now we can have a, a, a daily moment. <laughs> a daily moment. And I love how you take the word moment and accentuate the mom part of it. Uh, when I saw that at your event, I was like, that's, that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mom, it was so funny. Moment. <laughs> yes, and the funny thing is a lot of people say, I didn't even realize that momentum was spelled that way until you kept putting emphasis, um, emphasis on the mom. I said, oh, yeah, because we. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I hadn't thought about it myself. And um, <laughs> I love words. I actually always talk about how uh, my degree is in English. And so I'm okay. always like analyzing words and everything. So but when I saw it at your conference, I was like, I have never thought about that. <laughs> how brilliant of her. <laughs> <laughs> and then how you all were saying, mom, man, even your husband, he's got it down. He was, oh, he was knows. using the terminology. It's so funny. Cause I feel bad. Sometimes he'll actually, he's, in, he's trying to say a moment, but he still says, mom, I'm like, Look at you, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? I love like, it. In yeah. the house, everything with mom is we're putting emphasis on. Yeah. You know, I mean, anything we have, that has the word mom in it, we're putting emphasis on the mom. <laughs> well, I, you know, I'm super excited about that lounge, especially Thank because you. of all of the core pieces of it. You know, the fact that someone can come and lounge, number one, but they can also have a workspace and yeah. or come there to network which of course this show is all about the fact that if you create, yeah, if you create intentional networking opportunities for yourself or go out and seek them, how you can uh, create awesome collaborations as a result of that, which can grow your revenue. And so that think tank model that you have going in there is going to, I'm sure produce so many awesome collaborations. So everything about it. Yeah, and we have a couple um, of moments. So now, since it's a daily moment, essentially, we'll actually have, um, and I want to eventually get to weekly, but have at least every other week, someone come in and it's, we're talking about a session after work from maybe mm-hmm. six to eight. Mm-hmm. And it's a small group, but we can discuss um, financial assistance for your business. We can dis- uh, discuss social media assistance, yeah. um, whatever it is that you need. And I want to have a theme for each month. And so maybe one month will be um, just getting your business started. Some people yeah. have a vision, but don't know how to start it and how to actually execute it. And um, we're going to discuss that. And we can, it's literally, you can walk in and get everything you need. It's a, it's a one-stop shop for the mom on the grind, essentially. I so. love it. And so I'm earlier, excited. you should be, you should be absolutely <laughs> excited. And hopefully, you know, with the word getting out there, especially with some of those who are already in your network and then beyond, that I pray for that space to be overflowing with moms, Thank you, you know. So much. I okay. cannot wait for this grand opening. Thank you. You're welcome. And so you said that's June the 8th. And what time? Um, June the 8th, and it's from 4 to 8. 4 to 8. All right. Do we need to get all, you know, flossed out for it? Or <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, no. I mean, if you want to, because that's mm-hmm. another part of my redefine, just dressing up, you know. Yeah. Sometimes we could get caught in our t-shirts and leggings or look, you know, for five days straight. That's not okay. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if June 8th is like your sixth day without clothes on, please, please dress up, get flossed up. Yeah. <laughs> out. But um, it's not, no particular dress code. I just want um, moms to come out and, and lounge. Right. <laughs> Oh, All right. My mom says, my mom says, well, I'm just going to come unwind and get redefined. I said, okay. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, <Uh-oh>, mommy. <laughs> That's what she does, girl. She, you better, <laughs> so you understand. She Talk about a tagline. <laughs> I look for everybody, mom, and because my mama literally roots for me. That yes. lady, she will do anything. I mean, yeah. she comes up with things. She popped up on me yesterday because... Mm-hmm. I told her she was in her feelings, but she popped up on me yesterday. She wanted to make sure I was okay. I got to lay eyes on you. Yep. (laughs) Yep. I know I use that term when any of my friends get sick because I'm like a mom to my friends and stuff. Uh, 
And whenever anybody's sick or whatever, or I hadn't heard from them for a while, I say the same thing. I, I have to get my eyes on the you. Eyes on you. <laughs> yes. Well, that's so. what she said. <laughs> that I she love it. Everything. Well, one of the things that um, I want to talk about, you mentioned a moment ago, and I'm looking at your shirt. We both are branding something. You talked <laughs> about branding and how that's essential to your business. And, you know, many people understand that they have to brand their business. For you, branding mom redefine, what does that look like? What can people expect from you? I just try to be consistent whenever you see um, anything posted. I pretty much try to put my hashtag on it. I put my um, my logo on it. So, you know, like this came from Mom Redefine. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, branding is definitely, is definitely important as far as um, it, it speaks for you. I know they say it speaks for you when you're not in the room or when yeah. you're not in the room. Mm -hmm. um, and it does. You would be surprised the people who have researched Mom Redefine before they even met me. And yeah. they know about um, the things that I do before they meet me. And so branding is definitely, it's essential. Um, branding and being consistent with your branding. Branding is so essential to who you are. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people get that whole side of their business wrong. And so who you are helped to develop this whole mom redefine movement. Yeah. And so when you speak of branding, that's absolutely everything you just said, consistency. When you're not in the room, what people are saying about you, even your uh, T-shirt that you have on, what's that say? I make mommy. I make mommy moves. I make mommy <laughs> moves. So even what you're wearing, like just the consistent yes, message. everything. So, yeah. so branding is, it's important and um, it's definitely something to consider for every single thing that you do, whether it's an event, whether it's a flyer, whether it's shoot how you act in public <laughs> yes ma'am <laughs> everything so yeah um, it's important it's definitely important. yeah well thank you for <laughs> that uh bit of information we always like to give the listening audience some sort of a nugget that they can take away from this show and you know i see that branding is important for you i saw it at the, at the event as well that i went to um and so thank you for those nuggets so we're gonna really quickly take a commercial break and then we are going to be right back with Sarika Bunch of Mom Redefined for Mother's Day, our special edition. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Coffee and Collaboration. Announcing the Every Dot Black 2019 Entrepreneur Virtual Conference. Attend and learn from businessmen and women that are actually doing it. Expand your network exponentially, regardless of geographical location, and begin doing business globally. Put your products and services in front of the eyes and ears of prospective customers and partners all over the world. The date of the conference is June 6 and 7, 2019. Register now because obtainable wealth is within you. So sign up today for the Every Dot Black 2019 Entrepreneur Virtual Conference at www.every.black/conference. E V E R Y dot B L A C K slash conference. So give us a call at 919-265-8045 or sign up online at www.every.black slash conference. All right. Welcome back to the Coffee and Collaborations radio show. If you've just joined us, you're going to have to go back <laughs> and listen to the show when we uh, air the replay. And so it's going to be shown on Monday as well. So if you're happening to catch it today, Sunday, Mother's Day, then you can get the replay tomorrow morning on 88 One The Truth at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's www.881thetruth.com. All right. So we're here with Jerika Butch. And we have just talked a little bit about networking. We talked about her mom's lounge the mom redefined movement that she has. And so now I want to talk a little bit about collaboration, Jerika. And what is your view or idea of collaboration? Um, my view of collaboration is we can reach a whole lot more people together than we can separate. Um, exactly. That's always my viewpoint on it. And I am actually going to start doing a lot more collaborating because um, mm -hmm. Even the mom lounge is essentially a collaboration. I have 
10 mompreneurs mm -hmm. who are coming together. And so if you think about it, it's, you have a, you have products here and you have your audience coming for your products, but then we have other people coming for their products. We're all going to network and make, um, create a larger audience. And yeah. that's what, um, to me, that's one of the, you know, that's important. It's very important. I don't think you can really even be successful without some form of collaboration. It's, yeah. It's essential to your business and to your life, like just building, um, just almost like a team where I say a tribe often, but building a network of people who you can, you know, share ideas with, whether, you know, it doesn't even have to be an event, but let's say, you know, you can, a photographer can collaborate with the makeup artist. They have, you know, like whatever. For sure. It's, it's, yeah. It's, a lot of things um, that can come when you collaborate and combine your networks. It is important. Yeah. And it's almost hard to make it in business um, without it. So mm -hmm. I love important. it. Yeah. I love that you have 10 women that are in <laughs> collaboration with you for the Mommy Lounge. I yeah. love that. And um, you hit the nail on the head when you said that it could absolutely grow your business and um working together um you can do so much more in the whole team mm -hmm. work and, and tribe concept so thank you for sharing that i mean if is there a collaboration that you could think about prior to the mommy lounge that really stands out in your mind that help you be successful i definitely can let me think Hold on. prior to the mom lounge um i've collaborate actually I can't quite announce it yet. <laughs> but okay, well, we love that. Long time. <laughs> but I, I'm collaborating with someone who is well known, very, oh my God, she is the wealth of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And we're going to create a moment of knowledge. And I can tell you off record, but yeah. the things that are going to come from that is going to blow everyone's mind. <laughs> I'm excited. Because, um, it's and it's like I said, it's important because my focus is moms. I'm a mom enthusiast, but I can't help moms without assistance, you know, with the assistance of others. Yeah. And so when I announce this collaboration, <laughs> I'm excited. I I can't wait. So, <laughs> yeah, it'll blow your mind. But and not just like I said, it's not even just about events, but um mm -hmm. sometimes just if I empty out what I have and you empty out what you have, the things that we can do is, is, is going to be phenomenal. So, yeah. And I want to touch on the collaboration that you have in your home with your husband, like that being the main team that's player. Main. That's, oh, that's <laughs> what your question was. That's the, <laughs> so I tell people, and you were at the conference, so, you know, I said, um, he's not necessarily, he's not really an entrepreneur. Like he doesn't have that, um, I'm not going to say that creativity because he mm -hmm. backs me up with everything that I do, but I don't, even right now, I don't even have to worry about where my children are. I'm, mm -hmm. He makes sure that they're taken care of. He makes sure that the home is taken care of so that I can take care of the business. Yeah. And without him. Nothing. I know. Right. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely you talk about collaboration, nothing. teamwork, this, you know, this man, I'm, and really, and they say teamwork makes the dream work without mm -hmm. I would lose it. I honestly, I would lose it mm -hmm. <laughs> without him. Yeah. Without him. Yeah. I like what you, first of all, how he stood you up. Like he really edified you and really said some amazing things. Of course, threw in a couple of jokes, but it was so loving and heartfelt. And um, you can see that he really supports your dreams. And then vice versa, you did the same thing. You stood him up and edified him so well so i know that that's crucial for you it's crucial and honestly um so joan would be 10 years of marriage for us and congratulations it, thank you and it hasn't all i was 21 when i got married mm -hmm. so the reason why even being because you know unfortunately marriage isn't i don't think it's as i'm not gonna say it's not as significant or as special um as it used to be, but marriage is hard, especially when you're younger. And we see so many people whose marriages aren't, you know, who don't make it. Mm -hmm. um, and so we made it 10 years. Then you add in the children and then you add in the business. Like I'm more business driven or business. Um, that's me. That's mm -hmm. how I am. 
he's more career driven. So yeah, <laughs> sometimes our conversations are different, but that's what makes us um, great. And so yeah. where he can back us up financially because he knows he's going to get paid twice a month. Like that's for sure. Um, I can go out and do crazy things <laughs> <laughs> because of him. But um, honestly, just the support um, is, it's what makes what it can really make or break a marriage right um, it's important and we we make it work and I, love and, it. and I don't want anyone to watch this and think that it's all peaches and cr it's not mm -hmm. but uh, once you get to that point where you understand each other and you're able to and this it's just like a business relationship too uh, once you get to the point where you understand each other you know what kind of makes each other tick and you don't want to deal with those problems. Mm -hmm. Everything's good. Everything falls into place. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And and you have to speak to us. I know you said that your husband truly helped with the kids, and but I know you want to spend time with them as well. Now, how do you manage it all, especially before when you were working full time and running the business, building that? So, how do you? What tips can you give the moms out here who? feel like they don't know how they're going to do it as far as time management um that's, that's it. like time management my pastor said once something to me a couple of we were in a meeting but he said organization and prioritization mm -hmm. those are the key points so those are key ways in actually making it work obviously yeah. you have to organize your day every single day there are days where you know you have to come home late. You have to, but don't let it be every day because that's when the mommy guilt will kick in and you feel like you're just failing. Trust me, I've been there. Um, but once you organize your day, realize what you can put off until the next day um, or pro just manage your time. Um, one thing I had to do, and that's why I was agreeing with you earlier, know when it's time for you to shut your phone down so that you can maximize your time. We mm -hmm spend way too much time on social media sometimes and we spend um, way too much time just sometimes sleeping in I even learn to ma I get more work done when my house is quiet when mm -hmm. everyone is sleeping so there are times where I come home from work and I actually go ahead and spend my time with the kids make sure they're eating I'm not gonna say cooking dinner but make sure that they have been fed <laughs> um, and spend about an hour or so with them they're always sleeping at least by nine o'clock, sometimes by eight, depending upon how they care uh, or about. And then I spend a little time with Terrence and when he goes to sleep, I work on my business. You just mm -hmm. have to know um, what works for your family. Taylor is now in daycare Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I put all my meetings during the day on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So right. That way, when I pick her up on those days, I can be mommy Rika and not Rika be the mom enthusiast like mm -hmm. you have to know um, just how to manage your time that is essential and everyone doesn't have this and that's the other thing don't compare yourself to other people because yeah. everyone doesn't have that support mm -hmm. and if you don't have it still know, learn what you can cut out if you work full time learn to work while you're eating mm -hmm. like it's it's okay for you to take notes or watch a podcast or um look at vendors and call vendors and everything while you're on your lunch break. It's perfectly okay. And it's normal. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to really do, you, once you get the mindset that you have to do it, um, you'll, you'll find a way. And uh, yeah. the biggest thing is just managing your time. Yeah. I wasted so much time and, and also knowing this is an extra tip, just, it's not going to always be perfect. I'm so, I'm so hard on myself. I'm mm -hmm. a perfectionist that I spend too much time one seeking other people's opinions i have a couple of group chats where i'll send it like how does this look how does this look? <laughs> i've wasted a whole hour just by doing that so um know what you can cut out of your day do a um, i call it a schedule audit or a time audit where one day or for a couple of days you write down every single thing that you've done mm -hmm. and then the next day you revisit it and see oh so i was sitting at home for 45 minutes that I have, I have time that I haven't, I can't account for. I can't say what I was doing. You were probably on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Cut that out. Forty-five mm -hmm. minutes. You can be halfway done with building a website. <laughs> so mm -hmm. just know what you can do to um to actually maximize your time. That's yeah important. 
I love all those tips and especially what you said right towards the end there about not comparing and then also not expecting everything to be perfect because you know a lot of times as moms we do feel guilty when um because of that comparison like we're the person that's coming home and cooking every night and running a business and all of that you know feel like oh man i'm not doing that and then you're like down on yourself mm -hmm. and so just letting some things go is so essential even like you know folding the clothes and just all the different things that you start to feel bad about like oh, i didn't get that done um yeah. just just letting it go and you know not have a nasty house or anything <laughs> but right but, but let some stuff go and learn how to work these children Look, yes <laughs> that's the other thing deuce um deuce is five and mm -hmm. so uh, he's at the age now where if i say clean your room he knows what that means yeah clean your room Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have to spend an hour cleaning up something that, you know, because we, we do that too much in the early years. Yeah. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. That's one thing. And then even learning to outsource. Sometimes you have to buy your time. So mm -hmm. I used to, all the graphics, you talk about branding, all of the graphics that you had seen from Mom Redefined, 99% of those I actually created. Mm -hmm. So now I'm at a place where I found a graphic designer who is very reasonable and she understands me, Tiana Glover. I love her. Mm -hmm. um, she understands me. And it's so much easier for me to send her an email before I go to bed. And then the next morning, she is like, okay, Rika, I have this and I have my graphic. Um, it's easier for me to do that than for me to spend four hours on something that she's an expert. Right. It'll take her 20 minutes. Right. But yeah. I spent four hours on it, but I can work on something else. Um, even with groceries, use your resources. It's 2019. They have an app for everything. Mm -hmm. Every single thing. I'm talking about you can order your groceries and pick them up. That's okay. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Grow up hub works. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. That's, um, honestly, once um, you, and it's not, you don't even have to have a business. Sometimes, you need to manage your time just so you can have peace and have some downtime exactly. in your day. Um, once you master that, everything will be good. If you will feel so much better, you won't feel rushed, and you know you you'll feel so much better. Yeah, at peace, you'll feel peace. Yes. Yeah, yes, it's so key. <laughs> peace is priceless. So yes. I want to make sure that. All of the listening audience and uh, the viewers can get in contact with you. Those that may be in the Raleigh area or coming to the Raleigh area that are looking for something like a mommy lounge to just go and hang out, um, work, all the things that you offer there or looking for some networking. So if you could tell them how to get in contact with you to make sure they follow you to stay up to date. Okay. Uh, we can be found on Instagram and Facebook as Mom Redefined. And my website is getredefined.com. So simple. Getredefined.com. <laughs> and so God, I am so happy that I had you for oh, Mother's God. Day. Yes, it was a treat. It absolutely was. And um, so you're welcome. And I look forward to coming to the Mommy Lounge. Yes. Uh, and I look June 8th. <laughs> June 8th, coming to the Mommy Lounge and supporting the grand opening of your Thank vision you. to actually see it realized. Yes. You. I, I'm still in awe. Like, I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> it has it's big. Me? Like, little old me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot lately. Like, me? <laughs> so, yes. I'm and I'm, I'm just, I can't wait to see, um, even, and not even just for me, honestly, for all of the moms who are supporting me like as far especially the 10 that have their um, businesses showcased there i want them to be extremely blessed and that's you know another avenue to grow their business um and just i just want people to feel feel good like i want moms to know that you it's possible like you can really do this thing you can chase your yeah. kids and your dreams so yeah. yeah well no better way to end than like exactly there so thank you again and no you all Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And you all have an amazing Mother's Day. Mothers and fellas, spoil the ladies. Spoil them. Get them everything they want. The entire everything. month of May. Look. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Month of month. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, yes. So you all have a great rest of the week, and we will see you next time on the Coffee and Collaborations radio show. You've been listening to Coffee and Collaboration, the number one networking skill building show for people who want to take their skills to the next level. You've been listening to Coffee and Collaboration, the number one networking skill building show for people who want to take their skills to the next level. Please join us each Monday at 7 a.m. Eastern and 6 a.m. Central.